Once it is done processing, it's going to look like this. There's going to be words on the left. You can see here the video is still processing. You can get started before it's done. Um, but you, yeah, you can go ahead and get started. So the first thing to do is go ahead and um, remove the filler words. And you can pick delete, ignore, delete audio without affecting the video. We want it to also um, be synced with the video. And we're going to hit apply to all. So this just is the ums. We can scroll down and see what's being deleted here in this window. A lot of ums. So we're going to go ahead and apply to all. 718. Ouch. Delete 156. And over here you can see it says multiple speakers detected. We want to go ahead and identify those speakers. One is oops. this. Is, I can just play it. I want to hear who it is. It sounds like it's me. So who's speaking? Tiffany. This is also Tiffany. And now, obviously, there's someone else talking here, so. And it didn't sync up. Sometimes this happens. Um, so what we want to do, and honestly, like this happens to me all the time where I'm not quite sure what to do when something happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this help, go to the help center, And the speakers didn't sync. And we'll click they're not synced properly. So it, let's see. So we'll try to resync it is what we're going to do. So what we'll do is we'll go and make sure we're editing the media up here where it says edit media, correct text. If you edit the media, it not only edits the text, but it also edits the audio and the video. If you're just correcting the text, a lot of times, I mean, they always get my name wrong. Um, and um, so that's how you do it. You just correct the text. The, the audio and video stay the same. So we're going to go ahead and try to find where, and actually this is how we do it. Um, edit speakers. This is add speaker. Um, and it's Tyler. Done. And it, it takes a minute to sync up. It's doing a lot of things in the background. So I'm not going to assume that it finished, but I'm going to just play it for a minute and see. Let's see, there's a break. Let's just start here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and try this again. Assign this to Tyler. There we go. Um, and then I think, so we want to listen and just see where is it not syncing up. And hopefully we can just and we'll hit hard return right there. And 
change this to Tiffany. So let's see if we, we should probably clean this up. So it's taking me a minute, but you can see. So we want to change this to him. We want it to trigger that it needs to see that they, it needs to recalibrate. So let's see if we can get it to do that. If not, we'll just have to do it manually. And then I say this, so. Okay, so in this case, you might just have to go through and while you're listening. Um, and then just go through and hard return. Actually, this was me. So this actually goes up there. We can delete it instead of renaming it. Then no this is the Tyler. And this is me. So anyway, just go through, if this happens and it doesn't assign the right speaker, you're just going to, as you're going, just um, edit it. Um, so if you run into this, as you'll see in the process, the first, the first round is the high level edits. Changing the speakers will be part of the second part, which is the listen through edit. So as you're listening through this whole episode and doing the tasks in that list, that's when you'll assign the different speakers. So, so I'm going to stop here and just show you the rest of the high level edits. Um, uh, the next thing I want to do, you can actually look, we just looked for filler words. We can look for word gaps, but what we, I want to look for is I say, you know, a lot. So we're going to look at the, you knows. And when I, edit these, it's really important that the out, output is as high quality as possible. So delete it, and then you need to go back, you know, let it sit for a second, because it's, remember, it's working in the background. It's got to delete the text, the audio, and the video. So sometimes it takes a second. And then um, just push play. And then the two things that I tend to say is, it's like so just leave those take out the you knows um but again like this you can see right here that something was taken out this little dotted line and i want to hear that it's seamless see S sounds terrible so we want to actually we want to control you either want to do this let's rewind so don't do that i fall for that every time you want to do control or command and Z as in zebra, and it undoes what you just did. So then go to the next one. 
you know, and you want to go right before the next word and then backspace, highlight and backspace, go back to the line before, play. See, it's thinking because again, there we go, it sounded beautiful. So that is fine. And we'll go to the next one. And now you always use this on the left um, so that we can know where we're at and know that we're processing them. So we're going to delete this, go back, go back a line, give it a minute. and play wait it didn't go back so again just kind of be paying attention to where the cursor is we really need to listen to the break 